want is a page that's just like this right so in this case in this case it's a free live workshop <laughs> Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the ask campaign what is an ask campaign and why do you need to use it and how do you set that up but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. An ask campaign. What is an ask campaign? Before we go to that, I want to show you right here. <laughs> what do you think of my background? You know, this is the month of October, the month of Halloween as I'm recording this. So I thought it would be kind of funny to have that there in the background instead of my typical background I have in any case if you're listening to the audio of this you're definitely going to want to go check out the video at cis431.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and there will be a blog post as well to kind of go through this topic so an ask campaign an ask campaign is basically a, a process that you go through to ask your potential customers what they actually want you know as an expert as somebody who knows your stuff you might be thinking well I know the answer I don't have to ask them I'll just put it all together and then I'm going to sell it and I just need to adjust the marketing to work with what I actually created and you know that could work you know in all seriousness it could work and I've certainly done that in the past but one of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm actually listening to Russell Brunson's book again I, I've probably listened to this like 10 times and in the book he talks about the ask campaign so let me just find it in here <clears throat> where is the ask a campaign I think it's in here I should have probably marked the page here but I'm, I'm almost there it's in the opportunity switch um the opportunity switch uh, uh what what should you say uh, uh I guess secrets or subjects so right here he talks about the uh formula right so ask them what they want so why why do you ask people what they want right I mean who cares what they want <laughs> no that's not true because obviously if you have something that you're trying to offer people have to want it so you could go off and create some crazy thing some amazing thing some fantastic thing and offer it to people and nobody is going to want it and I'm no stranger to having done that I've done that well I guess everything I've done there's always been some people interested but you know not enough to really create a big movement and that's one of my things that I'm trying to focus on right now is just thinking of the process and and as I you know listen to Russell and how he teaches all this it kind of makes reminds me or makes me realize that it's it's all just a process you know steps right one two three four right just go through the steps and you'll get there so let's share my screen here and kind of show you what I'm talking about so whenever you go to um whenever if you just search for you know if you have a click funnel account and you might you probably can do this in other funnel softwares there's lots of other funnel software out there but this is because it's you know from uh expert secrets from Russell Brunson himself uh if he talks about it as a as a particular thing that he does and he's explaining right here what the ask campaign is we'll actually listen to this short little video here and uh, just uh, give me a second to adjust these settings here so we're just going to go in and listen to that video no matter where you are today in your business and in your life you're just one funnel away this is an ask campaign funnel now it's a very simple two-step funnel but the goal of this funnel is to find out what it is that your customers want before you go and you create it so we set the number one page where you're asking what's the number one question or number one thing that your customers are looking for after they submit that question then you take the thank you page thanking them for their submission now if you want more information about the strategy behind how to use an ask campaign funnel make sure to check out the funnel hacker cookbook no matter where you are today in your business and in your life you're just one funnel away all right so that's you know Russell's definition of the ask funnel and if you go to this you know if you just search for this I guess it's click funnels recipes slash seven um but if you just search for it you know I just did a google search it shows up 
um, down the bottom here you're going to see there's templates that you can use for an S funnel now I'm not I mean it's easy to use these if I click on any of these that are free they just get added to your uh oh sorry <laughs> they get added to your uh funnel uh, uh account and then a new funnel gets created as well but it becomes a funnel that you can now use or that's easy access but you can create an ass funnel yourself you don't have to go through that way I mean what I did is if I go back here to uh, to funnels right if I just go to funnels uh, I just did an opt-in funnel uh, but let's just go back here do, 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 funnels yeah so if I go back to just the funnel main page and this is just kind of I'm I'm going to get into it a little bit more in a second but if I just like this ask group hackers that I just created right now for the right if I just click build a new funnel in the case of an ask funnel all you want is a opt-in funnel right so it'll be an opt-in funnel uh let's see I guess there's funnel builder right here which you can do that or just browse funnel marketplace right here whoops does that can load another page or no this is the marketplace that's not what I want I want to go in here or custom funnel there you go no how do I oh that's kind of weird I guess I gotta close this anyways I I things are changing all the time in click funnels but anyway so if you go here right you can actually go and um find there might be an I I couldn't find an ask funnel in here right the specific ask funnel but what you really want is a lead funnel right so a lead funnel just a lead funnel video sales there lead funnel um but like a, like you can see in click funnels it is a little bit complicated to find exactly what you want but if you go here and just say collect emails give it a test you know and build funnel right then it basically creates an, a default uh, funnel with two pages right and oh I guess I'm over my limit here I got to delete some of my funnels to be able to do that but after you've done that um actually let's go see maybe I do go delete some I don't need the, all the funnels I have here lots of them are tests um I don't even know what this is this is a shared funnel that I probably I'm just going to archive this oh you can't even see it right let's go scroll down here if I go if I want to get rid of a like because there's a limit right in in click funnels and most funnel builders there's limits too because every single funnel captures data and everything so what you want to do is you want to have just you don't need all the funnels right I'm I'm I've deleted I've created a bunch of them and you know I don't need these tripwire funnels whatever let's just go here and then I say archive and if I choose archive right there it basically makes the funnel like go away so it won't I won't be able to access the data for it or anything like that and it says it's going to be added to the queue which means it doesn't go um in it doesn't become archived like instantly it can take a few seconds or sometimes even a minute or two before it actually happens you see right here it says um so no that's not what I, anyway so let's try to create a new one see if it's gone already now right and da -da -da, there we go if I go back to here and I say create classic funnel builder collect emails and I'm going to say test again right here and if I just click on this whoops test and then build funnel so that's going to create a new funnel a default opt-in funnel which we can just edit oh let's see it didn't it didn't <laughs> it didn't archive it fast enough right and that's why it's saying here that I need to upgrade I'm over my funnels limit in my 97 dollar a month account um you can uh, you of course can upgrade your um you can of course upgrade your account and have more but there's a limit of 20 I believe in the uh in, the, in this account I'm just going to delete a few of these these are all just in here because at one point in the past I just went kind of trigger happy of just copying all these funnels bringing them into my account which I don't really need um let's do this one too I don't even know what they are because I I just copied them right and uh, there we go so now we've got three of them that are being archived and your funnel has been deleted you can not access this funnel okay good so I guess it's been deleted all right so funnels let's try it again because that's all I want to show you is the default opt-in funnel how it works um add a new funnel and actually you could I could have went in I'll show you in a second so if I just do this choose this one 
just to fill that okay building funnel right there okay so it creates an opt-in funnel which uh the first thing it does is ask me what I want for my first page where I basically have to enter um the name and email right so in the case of an ask funnel what you're doing is you just want a page like let's just look at uh, Russell's example here you just want a page like this here let's make my let me go back the full web webcam page so what you want is let's move this over here so I can see it so what you want is a page that's just like this right so in this case in this case it's a free live workshop he's suggesting how to without what's your number one question about and then your question and submit right so it's pretty basic right what you're basically trying to do is you're trying to you're trying to tell people I've got this thing I'm putting together actually if I read what Russell has right underneath here he's got a great example of how he approaches people here right so basically he's saying in here that he's got a you know an offer let's see what does it say can I so dear friend I know your time is valuable so I'll get right to the point I need your advice I'm putting together the finishing touches on a new course called how to x without x want to make sure I don't leave anything out so will you let me know your biggest question about how to x it could be anything you may think it's silly all you have to do is type your question in the box below and click submit in exchange for your advice I'll give you free access to my master class that's happening on date this course will sell for 197 in the near future but you'll get special access to experience the course free when you when you let me know your number one question okay here's the form so that's basically uh the the basics of it right so on social media or any other places even in ads you can actually have that text saying hey I have a question I just need your help and then ask people to go to that page so you want that page to be super super simple right so let's go back to sharing the screen here <clears throat> so you want it to be super simple you don't want a whole bunch of stuff on it right so it can be something like this one if I preview this right it could be a page like this which has the the name and email you can get rid of that and I'm going to show you how to do that um you can also have it be let's say let's get a really simple one the one that I really chose was oh I chose this one here so this is a very simple so I'm just going to see the one that just says okay uh yeah let's just select that one and then this will basically have your page right so you got your first page which is your opt-in page which is basically an ask we're going to make it into an ask campaign so I'm just going to click on edit here and what all you got to do here is you've got to go in here and change the headings and change this and change well I mean it sounds like a lot but it's really just change the wording here right so over here I'm going to say free uh free workshop um free workshop free live let's say free live workshop right and then over here we're going to say obviously it's whatever your offer is right because this is you're going to you're going to be putting together or selling since if it's a product you're selling right you're going to be selling this product or you're going to be putting together this this course or something like that in my case I'm going to be putting together a training on how to uh find the hottest leads in groups right so me I'm going to say how to find the hottest leads in groups right without and this is this is where the how to without right without getting ghosted getting ghosted so you can get 90 percent uh 90 percent over 90 percent over 90 percent to respond to respond to you okay so find how to find the hottest leads and groups without getting ghosted so you can get over 90 percent to respond to you so that is like 
it's just you know one one potential title for my thing but for now this is what it is so over here I'm going to say enter your number one question on how to find artist leads in groups okay so we're just going to do that this is what it is right so it's basically I'm saying a free live workshop how to do this and then here's your number one question on how to find this of course the question has to be related to what you're doing right it's got to be the same you know question so now you can see right here there's just their name and their email so how do you how do you add so that there's also a place where they can answer their question and even then these you might um uh you might want to um anyways well, okay for now we're just going to say plus right here the little the little orange plus which is add an element and then over here we're going to go into my input we're going to actually do a text area input so that's going to add it here I'm just going to move it up here okay so this will be enter your question here right now you have to change the input type to a custom type otherwise it won't um it won't uh um be, be processed right so the custom type I'm going to say answer or actually I'll say question <laughs> because that's their question right so question that's just the name of the variable with the way it gets stored <clears throat> and then I'm going to make it required because without that there's no there's no they're not going to get the free uh thing right and then if I wanted to and over here I want to change the button I want to say uh submit question whoops question can I type right or not submit question and get free ticket right okay there we go let's just save set action for this form is going to be submit the form okay that's good all right so now I'm just going to save it <coughs> and then I'm going to change this enter your question here your full name your email address so obviously if they don't enter their full name or their email address they're not gonna they're not gonna get uh uh free ticket right because you got to be able to send it to them anyway so this one here there's other thing too is I'm going to adjust the heading here so if I click on this and I go into settings I can set the heading of the top of it a little bit so that it's kind of separated a bit right so it kind of looks a little bit cleaner and then uh over here I'm going to change that obviously it's the same thing again um <coughs> be uh, learn the secrets Learn the secrets to get over 90 percent of new leads to respond whoops right so I'm just that's just kind of another sub headline of my my particular wor um, workshop right and I'm just going to change this obviously there's no there's it's a free workshop so there's no money back so I'm going to say I'm just going to say 100 percent free workshop right and then I don't have any testimonials yet but if you did you could leave them there so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to change this whole section here I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to make it hidden you could delete it but I'm just going to hide it so that I don't have to uh so I don't have to delete it I can always go back to it and just um unhide it so I can add the testimonials to have them so I'm just going to change the date here I'm going to change my company name too and that's pretty much it for me for this I'm going to save that now obviously you have to have you have to have a way to get back to them right so you can use different um autoresponders I use Aweber so I'm just going to go into settings under integrations here I'm going to say Aweber and action is going to be existing add to list with a tag and I'm going to say I don't have I don't do I have the list I should probably create a new list for this because I have a whole bunch of lists for all sorts of different things but this active group users it'll have to be a new list because this is going to be specific to answering the question I want to send them an email saying thank you so much that was a great question we'll let you know when the workshop happens but it should be in the next and this is the other thing you could have 
I could have a date here and that would make sense to have a date here right now I haven't decided on the date yet I kind of have to think it through but it would be better if you decided it. it would be better if I decided it but because of the there's a whole bunch of, anyways whatever I'm not going to apologize things happen and right now I don't have a date but you should have a date if you can just set a date and go with it and let's see now I have the first page my integration okay right I got to go into Aweber and I have to go and add a new list create a new list for that and then we'll have the ask campaign kind of ready right so here's the one thing if we look at this down here you'll see there's all these free <laughs> ask so the way these work if I click on these <laughs> it takes me to the click funnels uh purchasing process these are free so you can just click on get funnel they'll get added to your to your funnel account and you'll be able to use this particular ask campaign which maybe you like this format better maybe you, you want to have more text maybe you want to have this or whatever right but in my case I wanted to just show you how to create one from scratch yourself and then the other thing you'll notice down here is that there's others and this is you know maybe I could sell one I don't know I haven't looked into how to do that but people are selling these and so is ClickFunnels some of these are actually from ClickFunnels they're not even specific people uh but you can see they all have a five-step email sequence right that is included with the the purchase so that might be something you want to do for 97 dollars might be worth it I don't know I, I'm not I haven't done that so I don't really know but what I wanted to go in here is I want to go into list create a new list now if you have the free Aweber account you won't be able to create more than one list so you'll have to use things like tags which is you know not really something that is really recommended but um effective group users well actually this is always going to be me it's my business name my real business name it's just my name and then it'll be my website or my blog page and this is fine and describe what your email list is about so this will be the list name so active group users uh workshop workshop and this is what it'll be so a list example so learn how to uh, find the hottest right the same thing this is kind of like exactly so kind of has to be the same as whatever you put in here right where's my so this here right I'll just take all this copy it over to my right like that learn how to find the you know the same thing right from is going to be from my name and my from address is going to be my regular js one okay perfect okay so now I have the list created and I'm just going to say confirm there you go that's fine and I always oh so a subject line confirm your request okay so by the way you can leave this like this you can create your own confirmation message you know lots of people say you should do double opt-ins and I'm not sure if that's something I I would recommend yeah it really depends on what you're doing I mean if if somebody's going to my funnel page to enter an answer because I asked them to go to there then why do I need to ask them to confirm again right they they wouldn't be entering stuff on that page unless they wanted it right so I always go into my list settings here uh where's that list setting list options and then my list settings and then I disable the double opt-in so all you got to do is you go into confirmation message right here and you just say don't send one for a Weber sign up form don't send them for an API I don't want them if they and this is how it works with the uh, click funnels or other funnel tools if you're getting somebody on your list through one of those things it's called an API they do it through the API integration that's why I can turn this off now I could turn could leave this on but I usually turn them all off because I figure if I ever create a form I'm the, I don't want them to do a double opt-in so there's my list now the other thing I need is messages now this list has no messages right now I want it's an ask campaign so I'm going to create a new um where's the campaign oh automation under here 
so automation campaigns I'm going to use campaigns I want it to be a campaign which means an automated process to um response I'm just always use a blank campaign this is just going to be welcome and over here I'm going to say unsubscribe I'm going to say a new message I'm going to edit this message using drop drag and drop and then this one here the only way they get on this list is that they answer the question so I'm going to say thanks for your question and then I'm going to say thank you so much thank you so much whoops so much for your question um we will make sure you integrate it into the workshop uh, the date will be announced 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 soon whoops soon in the meantime watch your whoops watch your inbox or group hacking tips okay so right so that's just basically I'm just putting together a very simple email that doesn't do anything other than tell them thank you for your question and kind of letting them know that they that I got it right so now I've got that set up the one email I don't I could put more I could put a, another email that comes and this is what I need to do over time I need to have like four or five emails in there that go to them every day so that they don't forget me and so that they don't forget you know so they don't forget you you got to have those uh, multiple emails it becomes a campaign that is sent every few days until um you send them a broadcast with the announcement of the date and all that stuff right so uh what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say uh, just save it like this and then I'm going to activate it so activate the campaign so make sure that the email goes out when somebody puts in their email address right okay so we have that list we have the first email created we have it activated now if I go back to here and then I go back here into integrations back to a Weber select the list it's probably not in there I'm going to refresh it and now I should have it at the bottom I think yes there you go active group users workshop tags um I don't need to put a tag I could add tags but this is it it's done so that's saved and now what I want is the thank you page so let's go back to the funnel and let's edit the thank you page and I'm going to show you how to use it afterwards so the thank you page again if I go to it because I haven't created it yet it'll ask me what do I want as a template so I got to kind of look through them and kind of decide which one I want and in my case I want a very simple one that looks like just I want to have a video on it you don't have to obviously but I'm going to use this one here or maybe this one no it doesn't really matter so you're going to select this <laughs> and I'm going to create a video that's that I'm going to talk to them and say hey thanks so much for your question which is the same as the email I'm going to say something like you know your your in your check your inbox for your um for your for the information and we'll be in touch soon with the workshop dates in the meantime please join this group please do this please do that right whatever I want them to do which really should be yeah it should be that should be joining a group but um let's go edit the page first and you know this one said thank you for your order obviously it's not an order so we've got to change the wording and uh, let's see now over here okay over here I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need this whole thing up here let me just delete this there we go and I'm going to say thank you for your question thank you for your question your question okay Do -do -do your ticket is is on the way okay and if you have questions please reply I'm gonna get rid of this I don't need this 
please reply to the email you just sent you just sent okay so that's that and then get started be sure to follow follow us on social media and I can make this a link to a let's do that let's make this a link to my Instagram account there we go uh, set action open website so let's just actually go to my Instagram and my profile there that's my link right here let's just put that in here um, okay so there save that Facebook is going to be this one over here button text subtext set action open URL in a different window so that's up to you I don't like whenever these click that they make this page go away I want them to be able to go back to it and easily watch the video it'll just open a new tab versus them having to go back to try to find it again right uh, but there you go so that's it there save that and then the last one is Pinterest I suppose I could use pin I haven't been updating Pinterest but and I think that's going to be yep that's what it is there we go and then Pinterest whoops again the same thing set action go to the website and then there we go all right so now the only uh, the other thing here is I want to I should probably have a group where they can create and I also need to create a video and put the video in here right so it'll be YouTube or another another hosting platform whatever you want to put the video there so okay so now that you have your ask campaign now the idea is that you want to send people to it and you want them to enter their information their question so let's go and I'm, I'm actually going to go to it let's open this in a new incognito window and there we go so now that's the oh that I did the thank you page wrong one wrong one we want to go to the opt-in or actually the actual funnel the funnel the funnel link is under I believe is it publishing or so yeah oh there it is share this funnel I want to go back to here I forget what the main link is but I think it's maybe under here okay so we got to get the link to the actual funnel this is the link to the page I I guess but funnel funnel move oh this is the link oh there there it is so if I go into a new incognito window there we go we go to the this is the funnel so I'm going to put my question here here's my question and my email my full name is going to be jsg test and I'm going to say jsg test 2 at this is the domain I own so I'm just going to click on this and it's going to be submitting and then it goes to the thank you page which will have a video there obviously it's not the right video uh, but if I go now to my inbox see did I get it hopefully I got it hmm does not look like I got that's that's sad I wanted them show show you how it worked and wanted to make sure it did work let's go back into here see if I look at subscribers did I get a new subscriber here maybe it just didn't come yet maybe it just takes a few seconds we'll see yeah see that's there subscribe one minute ago 
if I go back into my messages actually automation the campaigns I look at the campaigns sent to see this hasn't been sent to anybody yet uh, I wonder if there's a delay or if it's there's something that I didn't do yet but this is definitely one of the things that's super important to do whenever you whenever you create your funnel you think it's all ready you got to test it right use a test email or if you don't have another email that you can use ask somebody else to test it because uh, you need to make sure that it works right so actually I did get the email so I'm going to show you it just took a few moments there it is thanks for your question and it just that's exactly the email that was you know sent right so obviously this email is not you know that great could be better but you know that's basically how it works that's basically how it works and if I refresh this is it going to show me now that it's sent to one person still sent to zero I wonder why it says zero here do I have to messages maybe this data gets updated only after a few seconds I don't know but I did get the email obviously you said my inbox and everything's working and that is what an ask campaign is if you have any questions always you can reach out and until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.